Big up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Let me say a special big up to the persons who subscribe to the channel. I have 103 subscribers now. Thanks guys for watching the videos. Thanks for liking the videos and thanks for sharing the videos. And for those who are just watching, click on the like, click on the subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can know when new videos come out. Now this is part two of the 2007 Chevy Equinox project. And trust me guys, a lot of things happened since the last time. But anyway, let's do a quick recap. So about 10 days ago, I bought this Chevy Econox for $1,700. Now my budget on the pro project was $3,000. Um, when I went there to buy the, the vehicle, the vehicle had no ignition lights in the dashboard. It um, did not crank and it did not start, so it couldn't drive. The next day, I found that the battery was completely dead so that accounted for the no ignition lights in the dashboard. So I went out to the Walmart and bought a new battery. I also stopped at AutoZone and got a replacement serpentine belt. So it's time to install the belt. Alright so I have to take off this mount in order to run the, um, the belt. but. I was checking the different pulley wheels and you know I discover the AC compressor stuck nah spin the pulley for the AC compressor stuck it nah spin so that is why the belt break so I have to take off the AC compressor and replace it oh boy but that is how it go and, and this tension here I'm not so sure about it we have to go research whether it uh, function properly. The pulley wheel still a spin. So I'm kind of roughish still, but I don't know. Maybe I have to replace that thing. So it's out. So this is supposed to spin freely. No spin. So this is what caused the belt to break. So we have to just add the one now and replace it. So I was on the road and got a notification that the AC compressor was delivered. So I went home and decided to install the AC motor. And to my surprise, when I arrived at my apartment complex, the vehicle was gone. So I called 911 and two sheriff deputy turned up and ran a check and found that the vehicle was towed by the management of my apartment complex. Anyway, after a lot of running around and $293, I managed to get the vehicle out. According to the invoice, the vehicle was towed because it was abandoned and had no tags. A vehicle that I was working on every day. And such a tight budget that unforeseen cost was not good for me. But such is life and I have to press on. So with the AC compressor already delivered, I quickly installed it. And now we are ready to install the serpent. So this is a new belt. I say for going again.
Yeah. Right size. All right, so I'm gonna have to refer to your diagram. We'll run this down there. All right, so goes up at the engine, mount to the engine. Yeah, have to clear this a bit. Eh? That's stiff enough. So. Tension, tension. I have to change. So if we can stick that to get the belt stiffer. What we can do is start up and see if we alternate our charge. Um, so we will leak some coolant, antifreeze, so we will see why problem is. Crank up now with the belt on. Alright, battery light gone. So that means that we're all going to have to So there you have it, we are now driving. Thanks guys for watching. Click on the like, click on the subscribe, share with somebody. And remember, click the bell icon so you can know when the next video is out. Thanks again.